Yo, what's up? In today's video, we're gonna make upgraders. And I know in the last video, I said this would probably be the last video, but it most likely won't. This one will only be about upgraders, but the next video will be when I show you how to add more droppers and buttons to your tycoon, and like how to just clean up the rest that we haven't done. But that will be the next video. Well, we'll start by making a model, so I'll cut till I'm done with that. Alright, I've made mine. Uh, before we do anything, I want you to highlight everything here, and by holding control. Pressing in the objects or just pressing in the explorer. Hold Ctrl and G or right click and then uh, group them to group it. Rename this model um, Upgrader. And then we're gonna go into this property here. We're gonna go into this part, rename this um, Upgrade. Yeah, Upgrade. And then in the here, we're gonna actually change. And collide off and remember to anchor everything so everything is anchored. Now we can, uh, I changed my transparency to 0.6 by the way, you can do whatever you want there. Uh, can collide and can core, uh, can touch, I mean, can touch should also be off on the upgrade on this one, the blue one. Now we, um, now we're gonna add a script to this part and we're gonna make the script that will upgrade your blocks or item whatever you put in, um, replicate storage. And also, before we do that, put this um, the upgrader, oh my god, the upgrader, inside of Tycoon 1. Everything that's in here, everything that's gonna be inside of the Tycoon should always be in there. The get base can also be in Tycoon 1, which it already is. <laughs> Anyways, um, remove print hello world, type local upgrader equals script dot parent and then type go down two lines type upgrader dot touched colon connect function um hit and online if hit dot parent equals equals workspace dot new blocks then hit dot name equals block um local uh cache over equals workspace dot tycoon one dot collector dot cache over then we're gonna do hit dot worth dot value times equals two now I'll tell you what this is. This is a variable for the upgrade part, and then here checks if the whenever the upgrade part is touched, it will make a function which will hit, and if hits parent is um, the new blocks the folder, then it will change the name of whatever it was hit to block. Um, his cache over, and then here uh, hit the worth the value uh, times equals to will hit is the block. And inside of uh, the block in replicated storage, there's a int value named worth, and it has a value for the block one has a value of one. But the oops, um, but the script will multiply the value in here to, by two, so it, this would become two. And block two is worth two. Um, yeah, this value is two, so this would this would be four. This is multiplying by two. And uh, now that should be it. Um, before we end this, we're gonna have to make a button for this one. So now make all of this transparency to one. Uh, we're gonna go to here, take this button, duplicate it by Control C and plus Control V. Name this um, Upgrader button. Go in the script. Change the not the name, yes name. I mean, <laughs> go here and then buy upgrader price. Change this to I'll do two hundred fifty. Go into the um <coughs> the spawn handler. Then here we're gonna remove. Uh, not remove. We're gonna change stuff here so we can remove this script here. We can change this to upgrader. We can um, we can remove this 
yeah we can remove this in here we can do 250 though i want to change this which i might do in the next video we can do that in the next video so don't worry about that just type whatever you had the price for uh in here we're gonna do is a spawner we're actually gonna add up here local um upgrade part equals um what's it taking one no i can't do that i have two uh oh yeah we already have this oh yeah we can use to equals purchased item dot upgrade and then here we can change this we can remove this and in here we can rename this to upgrade part and then put 0, 6 and that should be it let's test it out all right we're gonna touch this part owner me now we're gonna go over here by upgrader we're gonna touch it and this comes up the one thing i forgot to change was um we had to change can collide off make that in the script so obviously in here we change all of this to actually change everything here can collide off and that should be it can collide off in and uh, upgrade part and then we're gonna go in here and instead of upgrade part we're gonna do upgrade part dot can col can collide no my bad we're gonna do yeah, instead of oh my god i forgot to change this upgrade part dot uh can touch equals true and then can collide should be false for this one now it should work all right so we're gonna touch this so we're the owner of the base we're gonna go over here you can see we can go through it right now there's nothing in the way blocking it now we touch this we can still go through it and now we can still go through it um, before it will stop us now if we purchase this never mind yeah okay now now this should yes it works so now i can check up here new blocks and go into example this it's worth is two now i've changed to four and here four eight twelve yeah you know so it goes up four eight obviously multiplies by two so it would be four eight twelve each each of the red blocks that's how you make an upgrader um hope this video helped and uh, yeah uh, in the next video as i said we're gonna make we're gonna clean everything up we're gonna i show you how to add more stuff I'll show you how to... Yeah, I'll just fix the thing up So this works, but I, we're gonna add some more stuff And we're gonna fix some of the scripts a bit um, Yeah, thanks so much for watching And see you guys in the next video Bye bye